For us? Or them? Um, well, I think Jack is trained, uh, Jack tra uh, trained yesterday, so he's okay. Uh, everybody else has come back as far as we're aware. We'll find out a bit more actually this morning, but um, Jack was okay yesterday. Alex, like, is there advice to, to be involved this week? Uh, that I'm not, I, I don't know that. And uh, uh, he's trained, he trained yesterday. Whether he'll be involved on uh, the weekend, uh, you know, I'm not entirely sure. So just looking at it generally, you I believe next week it'll be good to get him some match experience. Of course, week. yeah. Um, you know, as much training and uh, match time as, as we can get him. But uh, I, I'm not entirely sure, so I can't give you an answer, sorry. Okay. And uh, just with him, with Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang as well, Danny Welbeck in some form against AC Milan. Looks like some good competition up front for us. Yeah, it's great to have uh, good players all, all, all training and wanting to play, so it's a uh, great to have competition. Hi Steve, um, there were reports about issues with England with regard to the treatment of Jack Wilshire. Was there any issue? Not that I'm aware of, I don't know where the issues or reports are coming from, to be absolutely honest with you. But, uh, you know, Jack's, um, he, he had a bit of a, a knee problem, I think. He's come back and he's fine. So, as far as I'm aware, there's no issue. The best chance of qualifying for the next season's Champions League appears to be via the Europa League, given the gap you've got to four. Well, do you think that will reflect in the team selection Arsenal has for the remaining Premier League games? Uh, I, I don't think so. No, I think we'll be playing our, our best team when uh, the the best times to suit. And um, you know, we 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 uh, we need to win games. We we want to win games, so we'll be strong as we can. I think at most times. You sit next to the boss every every game. Mm -hmm. Can you just give us an insight into into his ment mentality at the moment, given the the amount of criticism he's he's been under over the last season and a half or so? He's, um, you know, I, have to, I admire him immensely. You know, he takes an unbelievable stick off an awful lot of people. Um, and he's just one of the great managers. Uh, you know, it's, it's a pleasure for me to sit next to him. You say he takes an incredible amount of stick. He's done an interview in the, in the past couple of weeks talking about some of the criticism could, could border on age discrimination, but, also says, but he also says that he would accept... Um, criticism if it was about results. Do you think he's been treated fairly? Listen, I, I'm not here to uh, answer them kind of questions. You know, uh, I think I'm sitting in for Arsenal for the, the Stoke game. I'd, I'd, I'd much prefer you uh, concentrate on football if possible. It, but you understand that it is all connected, isn't it? Well, I understand that you know he's, he's doing a great job as far as I'm concerned. He's done a great job for an awful long time. Is this the bit when you can give us that exclusive that he'll be here next season? <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to. You can if you want. I, I'd love to. Yes. <laughs> Just on to um, how tough a match are you expecting from them? Uh, Look, they're all tough games, and and you know it's a, it's an old cliche, but uh, whoever we're playing. Um, every team in in this division now is very very strong. They need points, you know. We need points. It's a tough game. It's a different Stoke City from the one we played at the Britannia Stadium. Under <coughs> Mark Hughes and now under Paul Lambert, what difference are you expecting? Um, well, I, I'm not sure how different it is, and uh, we're not sure if uh, you know he'll play Crouchy, whether uh, Peter Crouch will come in uh, and give us a problem. So, um, you know, they've got good players all through the squad. Actually, every squad in, in every team now is, is strong, so uh, it's, it's, it's a tough game. This final one for me, the, how much of an eye have you guys got on the, on the Europa League game? Uh, at this present moment, honestly, not an awful great deal. We, we're, we're concentrating on Sunday. It's a big game for us. Need a result. Thank you. Is there um, a genuine belief you can still get in the top four, or is it all about the Europa League? Look, it's tough. I think the manager said it's tough. Of course, it's tough. We're not we're not stupid, but um, you know, you never know. Uh, winning games is is much better than than you know. If we're going to win a Euro Europa League final, to win games now uh, is better for us. So, uh, the more games we can win, the, the the better the season becomes. And and what happens in the end is what happens.
So it's. Yeah, I mean, he's talked before about how obviously United won it last season and got to around this stage and started prioritising it over the league. Do, do you feel you've got to that point? Yeah, I'm not sure we have. No, I think as far as I'm concerned, it's a big game on Sunday for us. You know, we we, we could do with a win. We we need a, a pick up. We need to uh, play well. We need to um, you know get players fit again. Get a full squad and see where we go from there. And, and then you said you, you don't want to talk about Arsenal too much, but you, you just want uh, just just you sense his hunger is still absolutely, great, absolutely. He, he he's remarkable. Uh, you know. Behind closed doors, I, I've never met anybody who's, who's as hungry and, and determined um, to win football games. Do you still think that it's as big as it ever has been? It, it's as big as I've ever seen, yes, for sure.